Hi there, this is Andrew at Bongo IT again, and today I'm just going to show you a few things that you can do with Outlook to help organize your email a little bit better. If you look at my inbox here, you can see there's different symbols coming up next to my emails, and uh, they all mean different things. Um, so firstly, let's just have a look at this kind of flag that you can set here. So this kind of sets like a, a to-do, it sets a task for you, basically, when you flag something and you can flag things in different ways. So at the moment that's flagged um, to, for uh, something to do immediately as soon as possible. I could flag it for something to do tomorrow that slightly changes the flag color. You see there's a few things flagged there with that. I could flag it um, to do during a period of time. So maybe it's something that I'm gonna start tomorrow during the working week and end by Friday uh, 19th. If I want a reminder to pop up as well, I might want the reminder to pop up the day before that task is going to end, so uh, first day the 18th, and that reminder maybe go off at 10 o'clock in the morning, so that's going to pop up an alert on my computer when that goes off. Um, so what, you can set those flags on, on e email, individual emails or email chains. And here at the bottom of Outlook, you see you've got Mail, Calendar, People and Tasks. And if you go into Tasks, you can see all the things that you flagged up and when they're going to happen. So it's quite a useful way of just at a glance going, what have I got to do today? What's coming up tomorrow? You know. Okay, so that's all about flagging there. And you can see that when, when you do set a, a reminder, a notification reminder, it also gives you this little bell symbol here that says an alarm's going to go off. That's really handy. So an example of that would be um, perhaps this Tesco email. And I know the Tesco's guy is going to turn up at uh, 9 o'clock tonight. So I'm going to say, uh, OK, I, I'm going to flag that and going to add a reminder. And the reminder is going to go off at 7 o'clock this evening for me to uh, be able to receive my Tesco's order. OK. There we go, so I'm just going to take that off for now because I don't really need that to be reminded as he's probably going to knock on the door. Okie dokie, so the next thing is um, how to categorize your emails. Um, now I've got custom categories set up at the moment. So you can see here this yellow box um, and it comes up as expecting reply. So um, what I do sometimes is I just reply to someone and then if I'm waiting around for their email to come back to me, um, I just put this yellow box, uh, yellow categorization on, onto their email so that I know that they're going to reply to me. So that when I look at my inbox, I don't see that I've got 100 emails to go, okay, I'm waiting for a load of people to reply to me. It's much, much easier that way. And you can do that by right clicking and going to categorize and choosing a color to categorize it by. Now, what I've done is I've set all my categories up. Um, I've customized them so that it could be anything you want it to be, basically. So it could be test or something like that. But I'm going to leave it as expecting reply. So that's what I like to use. And that's how to set up the categorizations. Now, one other thing that um, I've uh, been asked about quite a few times is when people are searching for emails, um, sometimes they uh, go into a different folder or they've got a client and they go to the client's folder and go into a different folder there and um, if I can find something in one of these folders that would be useful there we go and um, then they try searching for, for something and they can't f always find it now sometimes that's because they have got it set to um, the wrong the wrong thing that they're searching for really so you can search for things by attachment as you always could with Outlook, so attachments come up at the top or attachments go to the bottom by toggling that switch. You can search things by uh, conversations, which is really useful because then you can follow the um, the whole conversation chain from there. But also, at the moment, this is just looking for things in the current folder. So if I search for Hob, this folder, it's only going to bring up things that I've moved into this folder. If I wanted to find everything within my current mailbox, which is andrew at bongoit.co.uk, because that's uh, that's my username, that's my that's my email address, so that's this mailbox, then I would click that button. And if you wanted to find more things as well, you can usually click on this more button at the bottom, and they'll find things that are much older, that have gone uh, 
past a few months basically. Um, also if you've got multiple mailboxes, so you've got multiple email addresses coming into Outlook, you can also set it to all mailboxes and search that way. So there you go, there's just a few really handy features of how to organize and um, find mails and uh, hopefully that'll, that'll help you with uh, organizing your time using Outlook. Thank you.